Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe Audition CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to extract mono files from one stereo file. This is particularly useful if you're a podcaster, maybe you have the host and the guest on one stereo file, but you wanna split it apart into two mono files that you can edit individually. One quick thing before I get started with the tutorial, I just wanted to let you know that I just launched a brand new class on Domestica. This is an introduction to Adobe Audition. It is a great class if you're a beginner in audio production and editing, or if you're a seasoned audio professional wanting to switch DAWs from something else into Adobe Audition. This class covers everything from getting started all the way to saving and exporting final projects. I'll leave a link in the description. I really hope you check it out. Now back to the tutorial. In order to extract mono files from a stereo file, you must be in the waveform editor. So an easy way to jump into the waveform editor is simply double click on any clip in the multi-track that will open up in the waveform editor. So this is a stereo file and you can tell which channel is which. If you look over in the far right side of this waveform editor, you can see this top section is the left channel and the bottom section is the right channel. And if I was to play these individually, the left channel is going to sound identical to the right channel. So when we extract the mono files, even though they're gonna be two files, they are going to sound identical. And to extract the left and right channels to their own mono files, you can right click or control click anywhere inside of this waveform editor and choose extract channels to mono files. Or go up to the top menu, click on edit, extract channels to mono files. I'll click, you'll see two files were added in the files panel. In the file name, you'll see a left for the left channel, a right for the right channel, and these are mono files. If you look over on the right, you no longer see that L and R. And if I expand this files panel, you can look in the channels column. This is the stereo file. Then we have the two mono files. And to open either one, you can just simply double click to open it in the waveform editor. We'll jump back into the multi-track. So you can click on this button at the very top or use the keyboard shortcut zero. I'll delete this track one stereo file. I'll select the left mono channel, drag it onto track one. I'll click in the header and call this host. I'll click on the R mono file, drag it onto track two. We'll call this guest. Now I can just split the clips up using the keyboard shortcut Command or Control K. I'll keep all of the host clips on track one and all of the guest clips on track two. So let's drag out a selection, move the CTI to where I want to split and press Command or Control K. Move the CTI, drag out a selection, Command or Control K. On track one, I'll keep only the clips where the host is talking. So I'll select, delete, select, delete, select, delete. And on track two, I'm gonna keep only the clips where the guest is talking. Select, delete, select, delete, select, delete. And now I can independently edit these two tracks. And because the multi-track is non-destructive, if you delete part of a clip, you can always get it back by just simply dragging out the clip. And that is how to extract mono files from a stereo file in the waveform editor of Adobe Audition. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.